Hey guys, me host Super Zoro, thank you very much for tuning Let me try that again. Hey guys, me host Super Zoro, thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you're all good this evening. How is everyone? Let's have a see who's in the chat with us this evening. Bethany Beth, <laughs> knock knock. How are you doing? Uh, we've also got Jordan reviews and more. I'm joining you all live. It's Jordan here. I will be asking you some questions in the video if you do not mind. Okie dokie. And I do just have to say as well, thank you very much to Undertaker for becoming a new channel member. Thank you very much, Undertaker447. I really do appreciate it. Um, you can see down below there is the the option to press the join button. Um, it is just the price of a cup of coffee. Uh, it's three. It's, uh, I think it's two ninety nine uh, to join the channel. Um, and if you do choose to join, I'll be very much appreciated. And you do get entered into a monthly giveaway that is just for channel members. <coughs> I'm also posting up videos all the time for channel members, and I'm also going to be doing a monthly live stream just for channel members as well. So if you do choose to join us on the channel membership, I would really appreciate it. <coughs> Emperor Palpatine says, what's up? You alright, buddy? Uh, we've also got Shelly with us as well. Hi, Shelly. Their stream was okay. <laughs> it was alright. It was alright. I got excited about a few things, to be honest. And um, uh, and the thing was, uh, I, I obviously I've not collected Star Wars for a long time, but those acolyte figures really got my attention today. Uh, I'm very tempted by those. Uh, I'm tempted to start a vintage collection. The thing is, with the vintage collection, they don't seem to produce that many figures. Like I was watching the live stream tonight. And literally, they've, they've, they've released everything for Black Series. Like, there's a whole wave of figures coming. And then TVC only got two out, two out of the five. Which just seems harsh. Not sure you'll be getting the Acolyte figures, though. Wow. It was the Acolyte Black Series that genuinely got me excited. Because uh, it's something new. It's the High Republic era. I'm, I'm excited to see what they do with it. Uh, I saw the trailer, by the way, the other day for the Acolyte. And it got me really, uh, really excited. I'm really, really looking forward to seeing that. <clears throat> you will have to bear with me as well, by the way. M with me and my immune system, I've picked up another damn cold virusy thing. So my uh, <clears throat> my chest is all rattly and yeah, <clears throat> I'm feeling rough again. Again, I feel like I've been ill at least half of this year so far. <laughs> it is so annoying. The Princess Leia and R2 uh, card backs look amazing. Yeah, the one thing that got me though was the um, the fact that they put the print that the Princess Leia had no cloth goods. It was all hard plastic. But we'll get to that in a few moments. Because I will go through the uh, all the announcements that came out of today and my thoughts on them and all that good stuff. Go through all of that. <coughs> So let's jump in and uh, take a look at the first bunch of announcements. Let me share my screen. Here we go. <clears throat> so the first thing was the holo the Holocom collection, and they're going to give us a Darth Maul, which is kind of cool. I do like these little Holocron puck things. They're quite cool. I've never bought one, but the Darth Maul one does look pretty cool. That is nice. And I like the fact that obviously he's not got a bounty. They did say on the live stream they didn't put a bounty on him because it wouldn't feel right to have a bounty on Darth Maul. And it says uh, something about the uh, the Red Dawn or something. So that's very cool. <clears throat> then we had the first of the uh, Acolyte figures. Uh, Jedi Knight Yord f uh, Fanda, Fanda, Fanda. Oh, my voice is going. And um, this, this is, this does look pretty cool. Um, his neck is really big, though, right? Am I the only one that thinks his neck is absolutely huge? It's, uh, it's one of the. It <clears throat> it's just so weird. His neck just looks absolutely huge. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a better picture so you, so you can see what I'm on about. Look how, look how long his neck is! <coughs> it just looks ridiculous. But still, I'm still going to get it. 
I'm still going to get it. <clears throat> so that was your Vanda. That's still the same one, right? Yeah. Um, so then we had the Jedi Master in, in Dara. <coughs> Again, another nice figure from the New High Republic era. She does look very cool. Obviously, we don't know anything about these characters yet, which makes it awkward. But I'm, I'm, I am happy that they've gone ahead and given us a bunch of... of, of um, given us a bunch of, like, figures early. And also, I'm not sure who at Hasbro put this on. But, see on the bottom, it says, let me find it, figure does not fly. <laughs> Who put that on? I absolutely love it. Figure does not fly. Is there actually anyone out there that genuinely thought that figure could fly? I love it. I love the little, Just, the, the, just that, that just made it for me. That made me so happy. Figure cannot fly. <laughs> Either way, she does look really cool. And um, I'm very tempted to grab these Acolyte figures, you know. This might be the first Black, Black Series uh, bunch of figures that I pick up. <clears throat> uh, Jedi Master Sol, he's the guy that we see a lot in the trailer. Um, I like that all the um, lightsabers are all different as well. They all have different colours, different handles and... Sorry, hilts. And uh, they just look very cool. But yeah, Jedi Master Sol. Um, and then we get the assassin. Who is May. <laughs> May the assassin. Um, again, we don't know enough about these yet. That was the one figure that I was kind of like... Very met about. Like I, I could probably leave her behind. But them Jedi. I definitely want them Jedi. And the thing is, I hope that they do give us, because um, there's going to be more characters for the High Republic era as well. There's going to be more, because um, like there's the, there's going to be a Wookiee in this program. The Wookiee um, is a Jedi as well in this. He has featured in some of the comics. Um, and also, don't forget, Yoda is still about in the High Republic era. Yoda's only about 300 years old um, during the High Republic era, about 380, something like that. Um, so he's he's a young Yoda. So it'd be cool to kind of see, you know, rather than see the dittery Yoda with the like limping around, it'll be cool to see like the younger Yoda again. So I'm hoping they do have it, uh, have him in it. She catch, catching up on the comments. Oh no, we can't have a six oral. I know. I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to stay alive, people. But my voice does keep going. Um, <clears throat> yes, but they did. But my boxers would get a yeet. <laughs> Yeah, his neck is very oddly long. <laughs> and if figure doesn't fly, don't want it. <laughs> Are they going to make another interactive robot droid for this year's for for this year for Star Wars? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly don't know. I hope so. I'm hoping there's going to be some new droids featured in this High Republic era program, and we might get some. Um, Builder droids and droid factory products based on that. <clears throat> well, the figure will fly if you give it a yeet. Oh, 100%. 100%. Yep, <laughs> yeah, moving on, moving on, moving on. They did also announce that we're going to get a role playing helmet as well. Uh, so Moff Gideon's ridiculous helmet of doom <laughs> is coming. Digitally rendered images, not final product, may vary. Yeah, people in the uh, in the chat on the uh, live stream today were, uh, were very salty about this. Was like it was a they were showing off a prototype, and people were going mental saying it didn't look right. It's like it was a prototype. People, calm down. So uh, yeah, the a new a new role playing helmet. <coughs> This one was my favourite of the bunch. So this is uh, Padawan, um, Padawan Jekyll Lon. Uh, I don't know how much uh, she's going to feature in the actual programme, but I think she looks awesome. Can't wait to find out more about her character. Yeah, look at that, though. She looks like an absolute badass. Yeah. 
Love it. Then we moved on to some TVC goodness, and they're going to give us a, a R2-D2 on classic Kenner card back. Now, this is the old the old R2-D2, as far as I'm aware, because it does look like it's the uh, Builder Fig version, like the Builder, the Builder Droid. Them arms look like they could just pop out. So, I'm not sure if it is, but it, they do look like the usual Builder Droid sort of arms. So, ho hopefully that's a Builder Droid and I can add it to my collection. But either way, a new R2 on card back. Um, they also we're gonna uh, doing Jedi Master Soul on card back as well. This is what this is what I was saying. So they they've they've given us two characters, um, Soul and May basically for TVC, but they've done like a whole wave of them for the Black Series. There's no there's no the scale is completely off between Black Series and TVC. It's all it almost feels like. It almost feels like TVC is an afterthought, which I know. I know there's because you could tell from the chat on the live stream. There's a there's a definite audience for it. Now this Princess Leia looks nice. Uh, the face sculpted and everything looks pretty decent. The one thing that I just couldn't get over is the fact that they've used a hard plastic rather than cloth, and even even the hood is like a hard plastic. So she's not going to be able to sit down. She's not going to be able to kneel. You're not going to be able to do any of the any of the classic, you know, poses and stuff because of that hard plastic bottom. So, eh. I'm not too fond of that one. And guys, that that was actually it for the Imperial March. I was actually very uh, disheartened to be honest. There was there wasn't a lot of announcements today. It was very very. Um, sparse to be honest um, and with it being Imperial March same as how a lot of people were saying in the comments it was like the, they didn't really announce any Imperial characters at all <laughs> so Imperial March is it, apparently it was, it was like Jedi and Sith day <laughs> it, I don't know I, I, I was because like the whole thing of Imperial March was the best of the dark side and I don't think we got that today but it was cool to see the Acolyte figures. Obviously, Hasbro have had a long time to work on them because obviously the trailer for Acolyte did come out at Celebration, I believe. People saw the uh, Acolyte trailer quite a while ago and obviously we've only just got around to seeing it. But um, yeah, we'll have to see what develops because obviously this is um, a thing that's going on all, mar all March long. Uh, obviously, we've still got 10 days left of the month-ish. So hopefully we'll... Um, We'll have some more announcements very soon. But the basically the idea is we're marching towards May the 4th. So between now and May the 4th, they're going to put out tons of announcements. That's from the, that's the understanding that I have from the Hasbro team. <laughs> Helmet doesn't fly. <laughs> I know I'm curious about that. Uh, I know what I'm curious about what they announced. What, what, what? Uh, what about full animatronic Yoda robot, which feels like Yoda, talks like Yoda, and moves like Yoda by Hasbro and Robson Robotics? That would be cool with its silicon skin all over it. <laughs> I like, I uh, Jordan. I like how it feels like you pit, like you're pitching me an idea, like I have any form of sway. <laughs> it's Mick. Hi, Mick. How you doing? Weirdly, I've just been sat wa watching your, uh, your big, big, from this morning. And got right to the end where it said there was a live now. <laughs> oh, the, blo the the vlog from earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, man, for tuning in. Uh, but yes, I did do a vlog earlier today. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, I did get a little haul of goodies. And uh, I, had, I had to go for a little ride out, try and blow the cobwebs off. I am feeling very rough at the moment. So like I say, I'm not sure how long I'm going to be able to stay, stay online for. Oh, I'm trying. I'm trying. But I kind of feel like that. I kind of feel upset because, like, I was hoping there was going to be loads of big announcements today, and there were just none. It was very few and far between. Ah, the TVC Haslab. Yeah, they did say that they're doing the TVC Haslab. That would be very cool. I'm looking forward to seeing what they announce. Meant to say vlog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, is there a Star Wars movie coming out this year or is it another TV series? I would like to know, please. <laughs> I don't know. Acolyte's coming out. That's a TV series. I don't think there's a movie. There's no movies this year. Um, Star Wars has moved to the TV er like, like era. The only movie I know that's in production right now is the um, Mandalorian and Grogu movie. And then they've, they've, they've talked about the, like a, a movie with Rey. And I think there's another movie that they've kind of pitched. But no, everything's TV at the moment. Might nip to Claire's for some of those Rainbow Friends for all this. Yeah, they, they had tons of, rain, of uh, Rainbow Friends. They're doing a, a th In Claire's at the moment, they're doing a buy three, get three free. So when you like me and you love a good blind bag... It makes the blind bags dirt cheap. So, like, like normally these blind bags can be anywhere between four and six quid. So basically, I always, I always, I always work it that if I buy a bunch of the same one, then obviously I'm going to get three. Uh, sorry, I'm going to get the six cheaper. So it works out at like three quid a blind bag or something, rather than like six quid a blind bag. Why don't you just talk about X Men ninety seven? Because I'm not sure how many people here have even seen it, Mick, and I don't want to ruin it for people. Because I, I, you know, what? I really enjoyed watching X Men ninety seven today. I actually got very excited watching it. My wife laughed at me at one point because I, I, I shouted at the TV. <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was, I was really surprised at the X Men TV series. It, it picked up more or less from where the original series left off, and there was none of this. Like I was expecting there to be like a bunch of random sort of like previously on x-men and kind of like going through it all but they didn't they just jumped in and were like yep here we go they just they just expected you to know where they were in the timeline and stuff and it felt like they were it felt like they were touching a lot on the comics as well like like they were trying to bring some of the history of the x-men franchise into it which i thought was pretty cool thank you very much bethany i appreciate that Well, I tell you what, Mick, in a, uh, when I go offline in about 10 minutes, I tell you what, I'll, I'll message you on Facebook and we can talk about it. <laughs> but uh, let me double check on, uh, there was there was a couple of other um, things we can talk about today as well. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Where are we? So I, I think it was Beth that sent me the... Um, the details of this ridiculous Lego set, which looks amazing, by the way. So there is a Dungeons and Dragons Lego set coming out, and it is absolutely huge. Look at that bad boy! It's like three hundred quid or something daft, but it is the the biggest set I've ever seen, and it's all like modular as well, which I think is very cool. So like, there's loads of little minifigs in it, and there's loads of little hideaways. Like, look at the little tavern and stuff. How cool is that? Oh, do you know, I would love that Lego set, but it's just the the cost of that thing is going to be ridiculous. But it does look so good. You can't beat Dungeons & Dragons, man. I love Dungeons & Dragons. That would just be such a cool set to own. But yeah, it's going to be like 300 quid or something daft, so maybe even more. Oh dear me! I'm hoping I'm hoping this flu thing goes away, ready for Friday's live stream, because I really do feel like I've let you guys down tonight, uh, not being able to talk as much as I want to and not stay online as long as I want. Um, but yeah, Friday I'm meant to be going live again uh, for the Mattel live stream. Uh, Mattel obviously have got two days, two days worth Thursday and Friday of announcements. We start tomorrow with Monster High. And let's have a look at the schedule. Let's have a look at the schedule. Was it just Star Wars announcements? Yeah, it was just Star Wars announcements, mate. Um, it was, it was the Imperial March announcements today for Star Wars. Um, there wasn't really anything else out of Hasbro today. I think there's a Transformers live tomorrow, uh, but the Marvel team haven't done anything for a little while. Um, let me. What was I going to do then? Nope, my brain's gone blank. <laughs> my brain's gone absolutely blank. Nope, can't remember where I was going to Google. 
Oh, I'll tell you what I will tell you about. Uh, Friday, I'm going to the cinema to see uh, Ghostbusters. And I found out that Cineworld have got special um, ices. Um, and when I went... Because obviously I went to the cinema yesterday to see Late Night with the Devil, um, a Shudder movie. And they had the new flavours on. So I, I actually tried the Lemon and Slimer yesterday. It was the weirdest flavour on the planet. It really was weird. But... Um, on Friday, apparently, they've got cups that they couldn't they couldn't give me a cup um, because they they've got the the drink is there, but they're not allowed to do the cups till Friday. So I'm looking forward to going back on Friday morning. I'm seeing the first showing of the day, which is at one, and um, I'm watching it in that four is it four DX or two like the big wraparound screen anyway. I'm seeing it on that, and um, I'll be able to get the uh, Slimer cup. Because I really want the Slimer Cup. Mix uh, is good on Sunday. Yeah, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm really looking forward to it. I went to see that uh, Late Night with the Devil. That was a weird horror movie. I was really, really enjoying it until the last 20 minutes. <laughs> the last 20 minutes was just insane. Oh, the zo are you about the zombies? So zombies are a like a mini doll line. Let me just move my head. There we go. A mini doll line. In the UK, they're currently on sale in B and M, Home Bargains, and I'm sure there's another shop. But Home Bargains and B and M are the two main ones, and um, I've I've managed to get the entire collection. <laughs> Street dated cups. I know it's ridiculous, isn't it? I might get the pack off for it. Do it. Do it. Going full going full cosplay. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shelly. I appreciate that. <clears throat> right, guys. I, I am going to I am gonna fly. Uh, I'm very sorry that I haven't been able to stay on as long as possible. I did fly through the announcements from the Hasbro live stream. Once again, apologies. I'm, I'm really not feeling too cracking, so I'm going to go back to sleep. And uh, thank you all very much for watching. Guys, as always, I'm your host, Soups Arona. I'll hopefully see you all on Friday. May the force be with you. Bye! <laughs>